What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold. Not just kidding, Heart Gold. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series, Sword or Shield. Now, damn it! Almost had it. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walk through the Isle of Armor series, the Shield version right here. Now, in our last episode, we got introduced to the M Master Dojo, and now it is time for us to go catch her, catch some fast Slowpoke, believe it or not. And, it, and look at that, it is raining. Holy crud, man. I really enjoy this right here. So, yeah. Uh... If you guys already don't know, like I've already done, uh, I've already done the uh, shield version uh, of this whole thing right here. So if you guys want to catch that, check out Saturday's episode right here. This is the sword or the shield version or sword and shield guy. I always get these these things confused, but we have to go in here to the wild area in order to get these uh, these fast slow pokes right here. And well, as you can see, our our teammates are right here looking for these guys. And if you can see off into the distance, these guys are running rampant. Holy crap. I never thought that I would see a slowpoke run that fast. So the goal is that you actually have to outrun these slowpokes and you actually have to like get in front of them in order to battle them and all that stuff too. That and because they took a, an armor here and there, or no, a dojo, or not a dojo, but a whatchamacallit, a, uh, they took a gi away from one of our rivals right here. And yes, we will be getting attacked by some of these Pokemon right here like Choodle. This was a pretty cool Pokemon. I think I had it before. And this is uh, probably not the way to go about it because I got Marcel right here. And, well, let's see. We got to get to that Slowpoke first. Now, remember, all the Slowpokes will be in this area right here. could go ahead and capture this Talon Flame, but I just don't want to right now because, you know, these are all stuff that I got to do afterwards. The goal is get these uh, fast Slowpokes. And there we go. Oh, he, got, he crossed this. This guy's got, like, he's about to break my ankles right here. Okay. Got you. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's that fast slowpoke. Defeat it and take it back to the master. So here we go, going up against a slowpoke right here. And the sunlight has gotten harsh for some odd reason. So, yeah. It looks like to me that psychic attacks won't work against this guy since, uh, I, I guess it's the dual type or something. So we got to switch it up right here. Let's go straight to Krakatoa. Krakatoa always uh, comes in, comes through for me or something like that. So here we go, Krakatoa looking mean. It is sunny and it's gonna power up my Pokemon just a little bit, something like that. So here we go, Krakatoa looking mean. It is sunny and it's gonna power up my Pokemon just a little bit. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a Smackdown. Laying it the smack it down on this Slowpoke's candy ass right here and. That nearly takes it out, but it was a critical hit, good critical hit, and here comes... Oh, it's equipped! What the heck? Of course, you're gonna be you're gonna be boosting up your speed right here, so here comes a psychic attack, and that right there doesn't really work much, but let's go ahead and use one of the fire type moves since it is boosted, and yes, this slowpoke is faster than us. Believe it or not, a slowpoke is faster than one of my Pokemon. So here we go. Burn up, and there goes Slowpoke. So that's one done, and uh, more Pokemon getting some levels right here. Yes. All right, all right. Slow. So we got Avery's Dojo Jacket, and now we got two more left. So we got to go all the way into this place right here. But again, you guys got to admire the type of Pokemon that you have right here. You got Whoopers, you got Choodles. Hell, you got, uh, I, I can't remember the name of the Pokemon, but we got that Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I think that was, hold on. I was about to say, was that a love disc? Because it wasn't. So I see the next one. And this guy is going to be a little tricky, so. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stock up on a few things and then get that Pokemon. And there we go. We found ourselves a black sludge. And grab this. And what else? There he is. Okay, so we're just going to be hunting. And here we go for the race round. So we got to cut him off somehow. God dang it. 
Oh, somehow. God dang it. Oh, no. We got a Skroopy. Or a Skroopy. Okay, so a Skroopy is here. I do not want to get him right now, so let's go right ahead and move on ahead. And where the hell is this guy? Okay, so we're going to stand right here. <laughs> oh! He saw us! That asshole! Okay, so I thought I had the best of them. But no, it turns out this guy's a little smarter. He'll actually move out of the way, so... Just turn on the boosters. Got him! Okay, so here we go. Another Scorpio, or another Slowpoke. It's actually fast. And, uh, well, the sunlight is harsh, so this is going to be bad news for Marcel right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out to another Pokemon right here. Like, Deadshot. Yes, it does have moves that can actually beat this guy right here, so... Deadshot, it has been a while. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? And then look at this. A psychic attack. Uh-oh. Psychic attack does that thing. So let's go with a U-turn. See what it can actually do right here. And this Pokemon is psyching up. And for some odd reason, it's still faster than this Pokemon. So there we go. U-turn does it. And it's going to be eating one of its berries just to boost up its speed just a little bit. And so Deadshot is coming back to us. And let's see. Yeah, let's go straight for Beelzemon right here. Beelzemon! Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and use a False Surrender right here. Yes, we are faster than this guy. And bam! Say goodbye to Slowpoke. So that makes two of these guys right here. And everybody, you know, gets their experience points and whatnot. What do we got? What do we got? Pooh! And we got a Dojo T in shorts, and now we got one more. We just got to locate that little bastard. And I'm thinking it's a little bit further down ahead right here. I don't know. I could, I could be guessing. Hold on, hold on. There's an item right here. Or was that a sparkle from my bike? It was probably a sparkle from my bike, okay? So, let's see. There is a Flechinder. Flechinder. Don't know how to pronounce his name. There's a Lucky. I mean, a Whooper. And I see, with my little eyes, a fast slowpoke. Get him! Got him! <laughs> All right, you fast slowpoke asshole, you. Here we go. Still don't know why I keep on doing this. Probably should have switched out my Pokemon from the beginning. So, let's go back to Deadshot right here. Okay, okay, so here we go. Deadshot, what's up? Here comes a Psyka from the Pokemon itself. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a Super Punch, or Sucker Punch right here. And it missed, of course. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So, let's see. I think it helped me out a little bit right here. Because this is actually helping out my Pokemon. So let's go with a... Uh, a U-turn. And that one will take a nice amount of damage. And just like always, it will eat their berry because, well, they're assholes like that. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And let's go straight to Beelzemon. Just the way we handle it. And here comes a Heal Pulse, which, uh, of course, will actually heal some of our Pokemon. And I don't know why I did that. So here comes a Slowpoke uh, Psych Up. And here comes a Spirit Break. And that takes down Slowpoke right here. I mean, fast Slowpoke. And, well, look at that. Marcel grows to level 74. My Pokemon are safe. And I have found the last of the Slowpokes right here. He's like Dojo Gloves and Leg Wear. So, let's go back to Master Mustard right here, and, uh, well, before we do that, let's go right ahead and check out the sites. Let's go ahead and grab some of these items. I mean, they always come back every single day, so they never run out. And, well, let's see. Get a lay of the land and all that stuff, and, well, I see something sparkly right there. A Choodle has its eyes on us, it wants to be our Pokemon, but sorry, we already caught one. And let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a TR-26, which is Endure, and, well, let's see. Oh, look at that. It's that Pokemon. Don't know what its name is, but whatever. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and just move on. Get more of a lay of a land and uh, see what else we can actually find right here before we go back to Master Mustard. 
So let's see, we got 200 wandage right there. There's a lick of tongue. Holy crud. Uh, look at that. Look at that. A clo or not a cloister, but a crawdont? No, not a crawdont. Uh, damn. Completely forgot its name. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to it. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ashes Pokemon. I can't, I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> see, that's what happens when you have memory loss, guys. You just don't remember things anymore. And would you look at this? We found ourselves another Diglett. So there's 19 more right here. Good gravy. Oh, man. Remember, guys, we have to find... There's 151 of these little bastards, and they're all scattered around the island. I think if you actually get them all, you get a nice prize or a Pokemon. I don't know, but they're hidden around here somewhere. That's exactly what I'm not doing, and there's a Chansey right there. I could catch it right now, but I don't want to. And there's a Buffalant. And I want to grab this tiny mushroom. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else that we can actually find right here? Well, there's a lot of things that we can find. And I kind of just want to... Look at that. I just want to walk around here. Just take a look at everything. And would you look at that? Another another Diglett's right here. Totally not looking for these bastards right here, guys. I'm just, you know, giving you guys the lay of the land. Showing you guys what's going on. And, well, let's see. There's more sparkly things. Usually when there's something sparkly, there's something delicious or something good. So let's grab this and an Armorite Ore, which will be very important in here. And a Skoropi. Gotta love the Skoropis. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on, move on ahead right here. Again, I'm just grabbing stuff, guys. Uh... Is there anything else I need to talk to you guys about? Nope. We just completed everything. Grabbing the wattage. And no, we don't need to do anything else. Getting richer by the minute, guys. That's all we need to do is getting richer by the minute. So let's go back to Master Mustard right here. And let's try saying that quite a few times. Master Mustard. Master Mustard. Master Mustard. Okay. All righty. All righty. Uh, who is she? Let's see. Oh, yeah, uh, she's been looking for a Galarian Pokemon. Maybe you have a Weezing for me. How about uh, Galarian Weezing? Okay, I can give her a Galarian Weezing. I think I have one. Let's see, there's... Oh, look at that. I got a Galarian Weezing. She will give me a regular Weezing. Or a Cantonian Weezing. There's no other, other kind of Weezing right here. So here we go. We're doing a bit of a trade right now. You gotta love the song. Oh, <laughs> and it changes. And here we have a Cantonian Weezing. It's not like we have that before, I think. I don't know. And it's amazing. It's a treasure. Look different from different regions. Let's uh, definitely trade it again sometimes. Or sometime. Well, yeah. We can actually find a whole bunch of people here that can actually trade regular, uh, regular Pokemon versions. Or their Alolan versions and whatnot. So that's probably what we're going to be doing later on. I know that there's somebody here that can actually trade you a an Alolan... Uh, what was it called? A, an Alolan uh, Executor for a, a Cantonian Executor. And I think this is the place where you can actually find those guys. So, Daddy's home. Let's see what's going on right here. Okay, so we've completed the task at hand. Oh, Draven, welcome back. Uh oh. You were you were you were able to reclaim all the, my uniform uh, or reclaim my uniform all by yourself? By yourself? Yes. You gave the uniform back, even though he doesn't deserve it. Hm. You have my thanks. Well, mustard, Draven. Get it, mustard. You cleared the first trial like it was nothing. Why? I think this is the first time since Leon that someone was able to handle all three uh, three fast slowpoke on their own. The rest of you tire, uh, tried very hard too. You were able to catch up on a slow poke, but I guess I couldn't. Def you go. You couldn't defeat them. Tisk. Tell you what. Anyone who was able to catch up to slow poke at least one once gets a pass. Draven really did. Uh, really, really outdid himself. So it's only fair everyone gets another chance. Try to make a, uh, a comeback, everybody. Oh, how generous! <sighs> By the way, I'm still out. Oh, that reminds me. Honey, where are those little ones? Oh, that's right, darling. I already, I nearly forgotten. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, come in, sweetie. Oh, look at that. 
you guys already know what this is all about right here. So here we have the other two starter Pokemon from Kanto, which is Bulbasaur and Squirtle. And look at that drip. He's got the drip and he's got the vine. Look at that. These are our little sweet Pokemon Bulbasaur and Squirtle. We've all been taking care of them together, and I'd say they're more than a little curious about your strength as a trainer. Why don't you pick one to keep for yourself? You did uh, you did succeed in the, in the trial after all. And just so you know, these two have been raised in a very special way. When they evolve, they'll be able to get Gigantamax. Hmm, Gigantamax. Okay, so... If you guys have already caught my sword version episode, you guys have already gotten the idea that I've gotten, or you guys already know that I got Bulbasaur. So in this version right here, shield version, I'm going to be getting Squirtle right here. Look at this guy. Wow, yes, I'm going to take Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Okay, so here we go. We got ourselves Squirtle. And well, let's go ahead and take a look at its Pokedex entry right here. So here we have Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. When it feels threatened, it draws its limbs inside its shell and sprays water from its mouth. Yes, we are going to give this guy a nickname. Just like in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, we are going to be bequeathing, bequeathing this Pokemon its name, Leonardo. Now, let's see, Leonardo, yes. Eventually, I'm going to be trading these Pokemon back and forth just to, you know, or, you know, breeding these Pokemon. Well, uh, hold on. Breeding these Pokemon, trading them back and forth, and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and add them to our party right here. And, well, let's see. What Pokemon should I take out since I don't really need to do much? So, let's see. Let's go ahead and take out Marcel for the time being. And just like that, Squirtle is our Pokemon. Look at that. Squirtle looks pleased so as punch to, uh, that you chose it. Remember that your new Pokemon will be able to Gigantamax once it's fully evolved, so be sure to raise it well. Dynamaxing, a mysterious phenomenon unique to the Pokemon of Galar. And then there's Gigantamaxing, a very special way of Dynamaxing for very special Pokemon. Their moves change, of course, but their appearances change too. Speaking of Gigantamax, there's, this, there's that secret recipe of the Master Dojo. Drinking it makes you gigantic and strong. I call it the Max Soup. Mm, what is the Max Soup? I'd love to have a bowl of Max Soup full of Max Mushrooms right about now. It sure has been a while. Uh-oh. And that's why your second trial shall be the Mushroom Picking. Max Mushrooms are the key to Gigantamaxing, and I'm tasking you with finding three. Max Mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure you're, uh, they grow in dark, humid places. And with that, your next trial begins. I'm coming, uh, I'm... I'm counting on ya! Woo! Oh. And well, just like that. And don't you worry, Bulbasaur. I'll be sure to raise you with lots of love. I'll make you oh so strong so you'll never lose to Squirtle. Tee hee! Bulba! Miss Honey, if you want to, if you want that Pokemon to learn new moves, you can leave it with that with me. Well, aren't you the sweetest thing? That lovely lad is always so kind. Give him a bit of a Marmorite or an LT Cheer Darling new Pokemon, a new move. You should give it a try. And look at that. We get ourselves five Armorite ores. And with that, they bid us adieu. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So that was the conclusion to this episode right here. In the fourth one, we will be going to find some mushrooms and all that stuff. And since I already did, you know, sword versions, uh, you know, swords for, sword versions, uh, you know, uh, mushroom hunting. I think I know my way around it. It won't be that hard like in sword version. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.